What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? If you are new to our random doll stuff videos, well, they're kind of like one large video cut into smaller parts about me talking about random doll stuff. It's in the name. And on occasion, I talk about my nails. And from time to time, I might make references to earlier videos. I do believe I've been numbering them, so I hope that helps. In our last video, Minnie Toya was trying on some winter gear. And I put Barbie astronaut boots on her because I think they look like moon boots. I'm going to use a little black paint and paint the straps on the boots and across the bottom. Add a little silver paint, then do it all over again for the second boot. While waiting for that to dry, I went back to Ross and I found more couches. I've been checking almost every day for different colors and patterns. These were $9.99. This is a nice, rich, kind of a emerald green color. They also had this soft pink. They both fit into our stackable rooms. This one has a nice, rich color. And this one is a little more muted. Since we're checking out some home decor, the Barbie dishwasher playset is back with new packaging that is supposed to be a backdrop. However, it is a little short for the dolls. The dishwasher is pink with a sticker across the top. The front does open. It's silver on the inside. It's silver color on the back. We have a brown countertop and a little shelf on the side. The sink is pretty cool. I like that design. There's a basket that can fit inside of the dishwasher, a pink drying rack, a paper bag with dishwasher detergent, forks, knives, and spoons, two purple plates that we can place on the drying rack, and two cups. I get real excited about Barbie play sets, but I don't always understand how they fit together. I would love for everything to be like square so we could just line them all up. Well, maybe this is supposed to be like a kitchen island. Yeah. Can you make an easy doll room with poster board and markers? Yeah, we have. This video came out in March of 2011. Wow, that was forever ago. But we made a dollhouse by drawing it. Oh, well, we used a trifold rather than poster board. But you know, the idea is still pretty much the same. We sketched it out, got nice and detailed, and then traced over it with a marker. So yeah, that's pretty much what we did. And we were done. I can't believe that's how we used to do our videos. <laughs> okay, over four years ago, we drew a Crayola room using poster board. So there you go. We have done it. It folded up and everything, and we even colored it. I think you can make a doll room out of pretty much anything. Over the years, we've used cardboard, foam board, poster board, paper board, and now wood. If you like to draw, then this could be a fun project for you. This is heavyweight poster board. I got it for 99 cents at Target, and I'm just folding it in half. I fold it in half again. Using my doll as a guide, I sketch out my design. I think I'm going to make a bathroom backdrop. Carefully trace over it with a marker. Go back and add little details if you want to create a scene. We can take it a step further and cut a line through one layer of the poster board so we can make a tub that pops out. It's a little small, but the doll can still fit in it. We can also cut out a window. First, I glue the two sides together using a glue stick everywhere except for behind the tub. Then I cut out the window so the dolls can have a view. With a piece of poster board and some markers, you can draw whatever you like. This could make some fun photos. Plus, it's easy to store. My boots are dry, kind of loving the way they turned out. With a little bit of paint, we can really bring out those details. And now we found an everyday use for those boots. Oh, wow. The boots that already come with the Net Geo Barbie are kind of perfect for moon boots as well. They have the little ties in the front 
They're just not as chunky. Okay, so what about fitted black pants, Nat Geo boots, Creedable World Top, and BMR 1959 puffer coat? Oh yeah, super cute. But I'm gonna freeze. I think you know what time it is. The search for the pink purse continues. It's definitely not luggage. So maybe it's my purse? Here we go. Oh, oh, did you see it? It's the purse. I knew it. I knew it had to happen eventually. So we have our pink purse here. This is the one I've been wanting. Has a little heart mirror, little coin purse out to the sides. We have chains, a little pink strap. Yes! It looks fabulous on Mini Toya. And the accessories are another dog. Okay, a sticker and another notebook and lipstick. And for those of you who want to know, I'm wearing Mooncat nail polish. A couple videos back, we checked out some products from Stylishly Tiny, and I thought this was a desk organizer. Come to find out, it's a makeup holder for our mini fashion accessories, which is awesome. I'm gonna put some Rainbow High makeup in there as well, cause they have all those nice little brushes. So many talented people in the doll community. I think that's pretty cool. Speaking of the doll community, I got another holiday card. This one's from Designer's Life Barbie. Oh, what fun. And what's this? Oh, it's the dress I ordered from Uptown Trend Boutique on Etsy. Since Mini Toya got a one-of-a-kind holiday gown, I wanted Mini Bella to have one too. Mother-daughter holiday dresses. They're similar, but different. Wow, Bella's dress is fancy. Both dresses have little crystals all over them and the skirt can be removed for another look. Two dresses in one. A few months back, I did a little shopping at Tiny Frock Shop. It's a doll website where we can find lots of different miniatures from a variety of different brands, like this miniature refrigerator. I have been looking at these for a while to add to my dollhouse. Some items were around $37, and others went all the way up to 138. This is a rolling cart or a trolley. It is made out of metal. The top is mother of pearl. Here it is next to our doll. The wheels really move. Wow, my dolls are getting fancy. I bought a matching cabinet. We have to remove some protective plastic. This is also made out of metal. The door opens and there's a little magnet there to help keep it closed. What I thought was really cool about this is that it lights up. What? That is gonna make for some fun dollhouse photos. I had no idea the refrigerator was going to be this massive. It's also pretty heavy. It's metal, we can open the top and we can open the bottom. It comes with shelves and batteries. Once again, remove the protective plastic. It's like acrylic, and that's a little bit of metal across the top. It goes into the refrigerator. There are three shelves and a drawer at the bottom. And what I thought was really cool is that it has lights. When you open the door, it lights up. Awesome. Here's my doll next to the refrigerator. It is pretty large and it's pretty deep. So this is gonna take up a lot of space in the dollhouse. I also got a stove. This might be all I can fit in my little dollhouse kitchen. The stove has little knobs that can turn, the door can open, and there's a light as well. It came with the bread. There's a little bread pan, the bread can come out. It has a nice little retro feel to it. We also got a skillet and a pot. Can it fit in one of our stackable rooms? Yes, just barely we can fit the refrigerator and the stove. 
And let's close out this video with another Disney Dorables movie moment. We already have Peter Pan, so I'm just hoping we don't get a double. And it is, is that Mickey? It's the ultra rare Steamboat Willie. Film released in 1928. Ah, <sighs> one day we'll find Aladdin. But wait, you know how I'm always looking for mini dolls for our dolls? I found this Barbie book on Amazon. It's a My Busy Books. It is a children's book, but it comes with 10 figures of the characters in the book. They're in the back, and I was hoping that these could be Barbies for my Barbies. So let's check them out. It also has a play mat, which is really a thick poster. But I'm mainly here for the dolls, y'all. Here is Brooklyn, Malibu, Ken, Daisy, Renee, right? Nikki, Teresa, Skipper, Stacy, and Chelsea. I like that they are different heights. The paint could use a little cleaning up. But we get all the characters from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures, allowing our dolls to have a complete collection. However, they're definitely not 12 inch dolls to our Barbies, probably more along the lines of like a smart doll maybe. Renee is a little over three and a quarter inches. For a size comparison, here's one of the dollar store Barbies, but I think we can totally use them as dolls for dolls. I paid $14.99 I think on Amazon and we got 10 figures. We just might have to do a little touching up of the paint. Thank you for joining us for another random doll video where we checked out a fridge, found our dream purse, and painted some Barbie shoes. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye! But you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, but you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, but you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, but you got up in that bag. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back. Merry Christmas, everybody.